Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We're back in Scotland, this time in Transport Fever 2. I hope you enjoyed our little outing for those that watched it in uh, Train Sim World 2. And uh, now we can compare. In the background, before we do that, you'll see I put in the stadium. It is possibly the, the smallest stadium. You no, know, it is the smallest stadium I've got. Barring the floodlights, I think it does all right. Yeah, it doesn't look as imposing as I thought it would be. Considering we're missing a couple of very tall blocks of flats that are going to be in front of it. What do you reckon, guys? Do we get away with it? I'm going to say yes. So what are we doing today? We're off to Croftfoot. It should be fairly simple to put in. And by the end of the episode, what we should be able to do is at the service we were driving in Train Sim World 2. Before I jumped into Train Sim World 2, I was a little anxious because I wasn't sure how this recreation would compare to what the team at Dovetail put together. And do you know what? Although their version is rather nice and I enjoyed it thoroughly, I am really happy with what we've achieved so far. Considering we're still a bit patchy in places, I still feel like they're both representing the same area. So yes, I'm super happy. Now, we will be doing both of the routes that are in that uh, DLC. So we'll be going to Neilston and Newton before we move on. Next week, I'm hoping to put, or this week, well, this week coming, this Thursday, we'll bring in some diesels, a different heritage time. And, uh, yeah, we'll have some diesels chugging around here. So, down in the comments, if you've got any ideas for what diesels would have run around here. I've tried to look for some DMUs. I think we've got some in the 100 range, which might have run around here. Uh, if not, I would probably run a Class 37 round here hauling some either Mark II or Mark I coaches and obviously a Class 47 on the West Coast mainline. So yes, lots to do. All right, UI is up. Here we go. We're going to pop over here and just take a look. That's where it sits at the moment. Obviously way bigger than, uh, <laughs> than it should be. I think it could work though. We're going to have some houses up here, so that's going to block some of the view. I would like to fit in the two tower blocks that sit here, which means I may have to move this a little bit. It's just a temporary road at the moment, sketching out some ideas. The housing is back down here as well as new housing up here. Next to our station, along with the, uh, the second entrance there that goes underneath. I thought this was uh, rather nice. We can hide it with some concrete and put some fencing down here. I like these little bungalows, semi-detached bungalows. They're rather lovely. And uh, I, I changed this because we had too many lumps and bumps uh, down here. So I've, I've just mirrored it and it sort of works with our path that goes and uh, connects to the station. If we click on Kings Park, you'll see we've got all the access. These bus stops are possibly a little close together, but the way they sit on the junctions, I think it works. We've got uh, Overwood Drive. That's both of these stops. And then just here. These are on the wrong side, but obviously we're on the wrong side of the road as well. I switched these around a little bit. Furwood Drive's on the opposite side. And uh, then we've got Aikenhead Road up there. And this road, the main road, I went ahead and uh, continued it. So now it heads all the way up past Palmody and uh, across and joins up with the rest of the uh, the rest of the map. So we're starting to fill in all the gaps now. It's it's a bit like a colouring book, isn't it? As we slowly finalise the track layout, we can start putting in the roads, some of the main roads. A lot of the back streets are going to get left out. But uh, as long as we get a lot of the main roads in, I think we'll be okay. 
and it will uh, serve as well for a lot of bus services to run around here. We have another a depot or siding on this side to put in. I'm also thinking for Palmody that uh, we actually have the AI manage the industry around here. So that we've got another destination and it will encourage uh, or it will actually generate some cars on the roads. Plus it will give us a destination to deliver to later on and make some money. Now then, as we look at the Flying Scotsman, it would not have gone into Glasgow Central. No, but I wanted to have a look at it anyway. What we might do is put an, an LMS <laughs> loco on. That's a tongue twister. So yeah, look at our trains. That's lovely to see. I am super happy with our build, guys. This is going to be a wonderful train set. I'm really looking forward to uh, expanding on our network and getting trains uh, timetabled up. And uh, then you, you guys get to put out whatever trains you like on here. I'll do two versions as well. We'll have a, uh, a version without any lines whatsoever. So uh, basically, here's your train set or your model railway. And uh, go and put whatever trains and lines you want on. I'll leave them up there though, possibly. The lines up there just with no vehicles on them. So yeah, there we go. Uh, we could change this today actually for one of the LMS locos. But what are we doing today? Yes, we're over this way, aren't we? And uh, we've got all the way up to Kings Park for the Newton to Glasgow Central line. And what we do know is the service we uh, were driving went down here and then via Mount Florida. So Pollock Shields East, yes, and then up to Glasgow Central. But on the return journey, it goes via Pollock Shields West. And we do this all the way around and then skip past Cathcart back up to uh, Newton, which is going to be down there a little ways. And we, there's a tunnel just here somewhere that we can probably do because I had a quick look at the uh, the lay of the land here and we should be in a cutting I believe which allows us to go underground and then there's housing above uh, the line to Newton so I'm looking forward to doing that should we have a quick look at the map there we go straight forward I like this I like this layout that we've just got Kings Park Avenue on uh, one side and then Menock Road running parallel and with the uh, with the Newton line in the middle. And, and then we kind of branch off here. I feel like we should maybe get some more AI buildings or croft foot, perhaps. Uh, maybe a little bit further out. We do have, what is this? Is that an industrial area? Perhaps Castle Milk could be a, a mix with some housing and some... Is it industry? It looks like industry. Maybe it's more commerce. If I can find some businessy uh, industry type places and some commerce. Well, well, commerce and, and residential would do as well, wouldn't it? We don't have that either. So yeah, Castle Milk will go with something like that and we'll lock the roads in place. Because I would like to keep all these... Uh, green areas in because it's going to help us with our performance we want to keep performance up to the maximum so that more and more of you can play it and download it from the workshop but yes Croftfoot, fairly simple station hopefully we can get that in and then our next station along burnside well it's not overly difficult we've done that before and this one's a fun one i sort of like that I can already picture how we can do this because we've got those nice little footpaths now, don't we? And that will be functional. We could even use the UK crossover as well. Maybe. It won't be at that angle. I don't think we can get that working. But we can at least have that in. Right. Should we get Crawford in then? It would be here if we were doing it to scale. But what we need to do is sort of rein in our scale because... I believe Canberslang is roughly where it should be. 
that would be Kirk Hill with the tunnel. A couple of tunnels before and after it. I say before and after it because if you go in that way, it's after it. And if you come in this way, it's before it. I guess technically it's after it if you consider Glasgow Central as the origin of the line. So yes, it would be after it, wouldn't it? Oh yes, I should show you this before we build it. I've, I've gone ahead. I've started putting uh, different track speeds in here. We should go around and have a look as our train goes by. Uh, you see we've got 20 mile an hour boards here. Now, I haven't wrote any of this down. What I'm doing, I'm actually enjoying driving around in Train Sim World 2. So I'm trying a bit of route knowledge and trying to remember where all the speed changes are and signals. Some of our signals are going to be uh, in the incorrect place because we don't have a lot of room, do we? And uh, I'll try and get them roughly in the right place for junctions but uh, the blocking signals between that well, we just have to squeeze them in where possible I've even got the uh, 20 and the 35 here which I do remember seeing I think I think that was 35 it might have been 25 no I'm gonna go with 35 uh, I'm not sure the other way because we didn't travel that I just guesstimated that this section might be 30 and this section up here, 20. How did I do? How's memory served me? There is a 20-something. I feel like this section after the junction is 25. Anyway, croft foot. I would like to get that in. And then I'd like to uh, do a little bit of detailing today. Can we make the teardrop? I think we can with this. Uh, not a teardrop, is it? No, I keep saying teardrop. It's not. It's like a squinty eye, a sort of flat ellipse. In fact, I've done it the wrong way round straight away. What would it be? The outside track would be the one that curves. This is the straight bit. Then we'll get our passenger bit just here. We can take this back if necessary. It's got to be at least 80, hasn't it? I might go 85 metre because I would like to pinch this in a little bit. And we need a little section just here. And then what we should be able to do is uh, make sort of the shape, if possible. We should be able to get it in like that. And then possibly take this out. And that should give us our shape. And can we get this one out? Like the other one? Almost. Just, come on. Just wiggle. There we go. Oh, there. Just there would be lovely. There we go. Yeah, I don't mind that at the end. Obviously, we're going to have to bring this out quite a bit further. I'd like this to be gentle. We'll stick with 50 mile an hour. We should be able to get the curve, though, shouldn't we? Like that. How does that look? Yeah, that kind of works for me. And then we've got, uh, we've got the wiggle. We're supposed to wiggle two ways, but I'm going to head back now start meeting up with this and i wouldn't mind to get up there so that should go like that and then we should be able to do something along those lines heading up how does that look yes i mean it's a little square we could probably round it off a little more i like it like this because uh we don't get the gap in between and we don't have to worry about it then well, would we say that was it? Yes. Let's flatten that out a little bit. Or a lot a bit, I should say. Oh, I do want to show you something I've done on the... Uh, on the approach to Kings Park there. I've changed the bridge. Let's go and take a look, shall we? Yeah, after I, uh, after I finished the ride, I was like, Oh, no. It's a double arch bridge. So I uh, pretty much demolished it and rebuilt it kept this bit in this is identical we've obviously got the housing now as well but that that does the job doesn't it i do like this anyway get back to this one on this side there isn't actually much housing our road that uh, runs parallel does the the little curve off and heads up that way 
And this is a, a nice bit of parkland, I guess. A bit of green. And then we've got some trees along the side. And a little path that runs to that road, which uh, we've got pavements now. I do want to, that reminds me, make sure you do this with these guys. Otherwise the AI will get overconfident with its ability to lay roads and either crash the game. Or more than likely just ruin your map. So yeah, padlock those. It adds a little bit of uh, difficulty. This is actually, I would say, more difficult than uh, than hard mode. Because we have to pay for all these houses. They all have rent charges. And every road that we lock for our scenery also has a charge. So the balancing act is going to be making this profitable. I'm not going to worry about it though. I'm not going to sacrifice any detailing. Just to make sure that we can get that in. Now, the way we get under here is similar to what I had to do here, which is uh, send the path down to meet this. And it's roughly what goes on either side over here. So in the middle, oh, I guess we should build this and then we can work on it. Let's get this station done. And this is going to be called Crawford. There we go. We have our station in. And in the middle, we're going to have a little, a little up downy. A little underpass just I, it doesn't really matter where there will do out the way of the boards and that's where we're going to be connecting to oh what's the best way to do this let's just put it in to whatever height we need it so we need our buildings here and one of these and we need to go down as far as we need to let's spin it round we'll do it in the middle it keeps connecting it's probably a bad idea to have that. Yeah, in fact, can we can we undo that and then we'll add that last. Get rid of that there. We'll add that last because I don't really want it connecting to anything just yet. I was hoping to try and tuck it under the, the thing a little bit. I guess we can just put a, a bit of concrete on over the top, right? If we lower that a little more, just so it's level with the ground, that should be enough just there get that in there yeah we don't have one yet you're gonna join croft but it won't work just yet and we'll do the same on this side and we'll drop it down that should do join croft foot again do you remember when we had this issue before and i just straight up panicked and deleted everything well you don't have to panic all you have to do is give it a connection and this should do it there we go got rid of it isn't that a wonderful mod and now with this we can just hopefully connect up with a path uh, to the road and it looks like that we stay level here so we'll continue kings park avenue up to this point we'll leave enough room uh, let's pick out street here along the side to uh put some housing in as well so we'll need to be somewhere like that we'll sort of follow the terrain i want this section straight but this bit we can kind of head out so if we get a little bit of curve on there that should be about the right shape we can tidy up this section down here that's a little tidier isn't it yeah there we go is that broxy the bear no it's an oh what's that where is broxy I know, random distraction. If I find him, I'll be super happy. Nothing to see here. That's not Broxy then. Oh, what's this? There's a lot of bears. But no Broxy. He was around here, wasn't he? He might have gone in the middle here. Perhaps he bought a house, though. I mean, that's a possibility. Yeah, perhaps he bought a nice new house. Maybe we'll find him towards the end. Oh, what's this? That's, no, you wouldn't be over this way. Anyway... Let's see if we can't connect this station up. There's a neat trick with this. It should automatically link here and link down there. And we're just going to use the no building ones. Yes. And six meters will do just fine. Now, if we link up with here down to there should be about spot on. There we go. Yes. Uh, no. 
I would prefer you to connect to the road a bit. Could we get you up further? There we go. That is spot on. How's that looking? I think that's the business, isn't it? Yes. Oh, we've got a bit of overlap with the scenery there. That's fine. I don't know what that is, to be fair. So this road here is going to do something slightly different. I am going to change it to uh, a different type of road. I like this mix and match where we've got double yellows in places and then we've got like a, a different tarmac and things going on as well. It's a little more realistic as road works are done continually on them. If we go there, we don't want a, any grade on that. We can just go with whatever the terrain is. Oh yes, official episode. There we go. Nice and neat. So we want our pavement again with uh, no housing. Hopefully we get a nice connection here. Uh, why are you not doing that correctly? You were before. I know. If we get this and give us a, a flat edge at the side, it will probably make a, a better job of it. There we go. Like that. Perfect. Yes, lovely. Right, that's going to go there. And then what I'd like to do is wiggle down there. So... If we can just get the connection down here a little too close, a little too close again, a little bit further out. There we go. Is that good enough? Well, that's in fact rather nice, isn't it? Uh, what sort of mess do you make of that? Awful. Well, it's got to be maximum. There we go. That should be enough. Oh, come on, really? Too steep? It's a, it's a footpath. It's it can't be too steep there and it's supposed to have another path coming off to that smaller which is just going to ruin everything isn't it it's going to do its terrible terraforming although if we keep that flat and then we do head out there it's going to work yes we'll leave that in we'll leave that in so i remember and this bit should be fairly straightforward what i like to do when i'm building houses is just go along like this and uh draw where the houses are going to be along here and like that i could of course make the brush a little bigger uh, but then you get uh, more issues with the terrain there we go that should work quite nicely that should give us a a little bit of a platform i'm gonna go with more bungalows i think that's what they are i'll double check they're more like that do we have any like that they're kind of the bay windows aren't they yeah, it's sort of the bay window thing going on. I think we can manage that. We've got those houses. They're going to be these ones that are over this side, which are Mad Hatter's housing. So if we go in here, that's the wrong one. This one here, 1940. Is that the right one? Yes, possibly. Yeah, there we go. Uh, you could have them that way around for a, a more different look, couldn't you? I know it's supposed to be the back door and a patio. But uh, the other way around for something different. Let's put people in. Assets, terrain, lanes. Let's go for it. I think we've got enough room. We're going to put this. Uh, make sure it's kind of level with the road at the very least. Let's leave a bit of room for some trees along the main road. And then we'll just make our way down here. I don't normally do this with you, do I? So, yeah, we'll just... Oh, dear. Pick a thing to snap to. This is not the mod's fault. This is uh, Transport Fever doesn't doesn't know how to terraform or align to terrain. I mean, it's not like it's a 3D object that can't tilt. Or they could dig into the ground further, couldn't it? I think that's what happens in real life. Right, one there. Can we fit this one in? Uh, maybe if we turn off the assets, we can have that one and we'll manually do its garden at some point. Yes, there we go. I know they're all copy and paste, but when I was looking out at the scenery on uh, Train Sim World 2, I would say our scenery is better. Our modding scene for Transport Fever 2 is absolutely wonderful. I went with something different here. Uh, I don't know whether a dovetail have been accurate, but there's kind of dirt, then a bit of grass and some weeds, and then the trees. So it does feel a little more realistic when you add this kind of layer of dirt there as well uh, we'll see about that 
the feedback, guys. Uh, what do you think? Does that help it uh, feel a little more realistic? I guess we'll only know when we, we start doing a cab ride down there. Uh, right, we need a bit more here so we can make a tidy embankment. Then we should be good. I would like to try and do something at Hampton Park down there. There we go. Is that a nice embankment? I think it is, and we've got a nice little flat area there. Uh, smooth that out a bit. Yeah, it didn't feel very enclosed in Train Sim World 2, but in ours it feels kind of cosy and, and enclosed down here. Right, yes. Should we call that a, a done station? I'm going to probably look for, like, building assets to stick in the middle. We don't really have much room. I think getting the rough layout is good enough for us now. Uh, we're going to be up to Burnside very shortly. We're going to need a bit of room for that if we want to do that pathway and walk over, which we'll do next time out. But we've got these houses in. I guess what we could do is put the trees in as well. So... How do we want to put these trees in? The houses themselves are, are quite a bit closer to the track, but I wanted to leave enough room to get these in, otherwise we're going to struggle. Uh, as you saw with the height difference. Right, let's get uh, these as a base, and then we can fill in with some bigger trees. I like using these. Oh, use the solid one. I like using these because they're quite tall. They sort of pass as small trees, don't they? But at the same time, they fill the taller trees underneath so it doesn't look quite so empty otherwise all you see is uh just tree trunks and that's it we're probably going to detail this up but we can delete it later i would just like to get some of the detailing i do off screen in today i've been using these they don't actually look too bad and if you get uh, one that's a little too high you can always drop it down a little bit that it's not monstrous like that there we go and that's all i tend to do with those and we'll scatter those through and uh, we'll put them a little denser towards towards this here i'm going to have these placed like that as an outline oh yeah and we just put it in there that's better i like that and we'll do the same over this side in preparation for actually putting our housing over here as well there we go that'll do quite nicely little tree line and we'll put some of these in here to mix it up a little bit unlikely we'll ever have those massive trees in because they just dwarf everything they're good for forests in the distance though uh, which is what we'll mainly use them for get you all in there i know i said i'm going to give them a garden i might not these are buried in the ground you see so you can't see too much of the trunks not that there's anything wrong with their trunks it's uh it just fills it out more there we go like that that should do and then we can uh, do our usual thing where we go along and add a little bit of uh, weeds and stuff get this down get that down hold shift and so you paint over the forest floor we don't want to go too close we can paint in uh well actually yeah we can paint in everything afterwards maybe i want to actually color all that in with a nice dark grass first i prefer the dark grass so we'll stick this up this is a trick i've been using recently uh, just to take that forest glory thing off and give it a little more texture and then it doesn't look too bad from a distance as well when we zoom out not that it really matters but yeah i like to get that in oh guys doing this sends me to sleep it really does all right there we go we'll redo all of that we'll also there you go much nicer isn't it we'll also do this new thing it sort of works for trackside uh, especially after seeing what dovetail did they gave me some inspiration i don't know whether i'm happy with it but i'll uh i'll listen to your feedback guys if you like it and it will stay in right there we go we'll do this side I'm going to quickly go and do the usual sweep across with the, the tools. I don't know what we're doing with that bit yet. I'm going to smooth it out. I know it uh, does that and you can see obviously what we've done. 
But we're going to make a little concrete uh, shelter over there. Right. Let's get down there. Up there. Slightly bigger brush. A lot bigger brush. Now we're going to go over with our tall weeds and nettles. We should just be able to do... Oh, that's a bit too big. One sweeping motion. Doesn't matter if we go over everything there. There we go. And then we'll come back this way and then we'll have a look down once we're done doesn't matter if it skips some misses some here and there that's ideal and we'll go back this way again with that one and that should be it then what i like to do is just go over here a little bit as well back with the dart brush gently just in a few places goodness me that was uh that was more dense than i imagined so you just go over there with the uh, with the dark brush, but that looks that looks rather nice. I'm happy with that. Yeah, yeah. Are we happy with that? It's a bit more space. That makes me happy. We'll do the same the other side, and we still get our houses in, and you can still see them poking over the tops of the trees there. And then we come up to our uh, up to our station there. Blinds. Let's edit this one. We're going to start out here. And because we're only going to have one train, we're actually going to head backwards and forwards on the same line because we're going to be heading down this way. It won't work until we do the fall to Glasgow Central there, the correct one. And then we head back out that way. Pollock Shields West. Pollock Shores East. Langside. We don't go back there. We'll actually go to Kings Park there. Now, we do this little crossover, little dance down here. That will not be how it is. I'm not going to put a temporary crossover in. Because we're only going to have one train running this. And this will be the Glasgow Central to Newton service. We'll have it as orange. Uh, is it? Are we at four? That's where we want to be, which is five for us. So, we'll do that. We'll colour it in orange. I know it uh, gets a little confusing, but it should work. How are we doing up here? How you? How have you automated? Oh, it's kind of beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. This is all starting to come together quite nicely. We've not really had to do too many waypoints yet. Yes, and then uh, what we're going to do is grab us a train that's heading this way, doing the other circle, and we're going to pop it on there. There we go. You will do. You are now actually going to be doing the uh, Newton line. There we go. And it's going to be, it should just do what it was going to do anyway. But then it's going to branch off to Kings Park and Croftfoot. There we go. Lovely. Uh, what did I want to do? I wanted to see if we could fit some, uh, some houses in here. Some of the tall flats. Nick Thompson. Here you go. Yeah, the, these ones here. I know it'll be a bit snug, but there we go. I don't know how many floors. 12, maybe. 12 might be good enough. Maybe 14. 14. Let's try 14. Go on, just sit down there. Sit down there. It's, it's very snug, but we can detail it up a little bit. One there. Oh, it's the wrong colour. Uh, do we have the white one? There we go. Oh, that's going to go, that one sits there a little nicer. Can we just change that? I mean, it'd be cool. Wow, there we go. Lovely. Obviously, we've got some serious terrain sorting out to do down here. But what we'll do is we'll do that and we'll, we'll have like a brick wall thing going on there. We might be able to hide that. That should do. How does that look in the distance? Does it mask our, our oversized... Yes, it does. Look at that. Our oversized football pitch, it does. That kind of works for me. I don't know about you guys. Oh, yes, we've got this going on now, don't we? Our train is heading off uh, to Kings Park. But our other train is just sitting there. And away it goes. That was absolutely perfect timing. Oh, that's wonderful. Guys, some diesels coming Thursday. That was an easy fix, wasn't it, for our uh, new line. 
we could place one of these on this line as well. I feel like just two doing the circle backwards and forwards once we have Newton in and Nielsen. Oh yes, we have this. I did show you this, didn't I? Yeah, Pollock Shields. And the, the possibility... Oh, these. We can redo these, I think. Anyway, the possibility of having AI industry over here to deliver to, and then we'll pick something. For round here, just a quick example of what we're going to do. We'll get us some tarmac and we'll start filling that in. We're going to have little car parks and stuff around here. And it's going to be something like that. Probably close to the right colour. Yeah, we're going to have a full-on area detailed around here. And we're going to work that in quite nicely. A little bit of artistic license. Oh, well, actually, a lot of bit of artistic license going to be going on uh, around Hampton Park here. I've sort of left the lay of the land to how I want this to sit. And it'll be something like that. Something like that. And we'll have nice little fencing around here. Uh, little parking areas, little shops and things. And yeah, it was suggested that I use, uh, where are we? This one instead, but it's absolutely ginormous, which, and we, we can't change the size of it, which is why I went for this one. And once it's sunk down a little bit, it doesn't look too bad, especially with these next to it now. And if we look somewhere like that, it's really starting to come together, isn't it? I am absolutely loving this, guys. Yeah, we're going to have uh, some housing up here. I can't remember what they were. I want to say terraced houses. Uh, but if they were terraced houses, uh, just to give you a rough idea, this is all going to be blocked off as well. Uh, it would be... I would say those. I think it's something like these that are heading down there. Uh, how many would we need? Like four? Yeah, something like that. Is that lined up? Yes. Yes, perfectly, in fact. Look at that. Almost perfect. I'll take it. Uh, yes, enable population. Enable garden? Sure. Why not? Uh, yeah. And then they would be in there. So looking down at the station. Look at that, guys. You can barely see it. Uh, but it is there, and it will be on, on the horizon. That's a little closer, isn't it? Yeah, it would be a bit lower than that as well. So, yes, once the buildings are around it, it's already starting to become hidden in the background there. And we've got a nice little retaining wall to do over that side. Perfect, guys. I love it. And what did I say? I wanted to replace... Where are you? I wanted to replace this with an LMS, didn't I? Do we have any LMS? We do. There we go. Uh, well, not those. Where's the bigger LMS ones? Princess Royal, perhaps? Duchess? I mean, they're all lovely, aren't they? Oh, I like the blue one. Princess Royal. When originally built, they were used to haul the famous Royal Scott train between London Euston and Glasgow Central. Well, oh, there you go. Uh, what colour do we want it? Blue? Yeah, well, you've got to stick it on first, Grand. Let's stick it in blue. Should we take a look at this uh, This train come by? Oh, there we go. Oh, I like it. Yes, do we like that, guys? That's impressive, isn't it? Goodness me. That's a beefy train. Loco. Well, it's a beefy train, isn't it? A lot of smoke. Uh, can we kind of look? Oh, you've got page up, page down. Really? Oh, don't, oh, that's not good. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> don't use any of those. Dear, oh dear. What? Oh dear. I had a moment there. We were attached to the piston or something. That was just wrong. Right, to get down here. This isn't the one we should be on though, is it? Because we don't see anything. We will take a look at it coming in. I tell you what, we'll do a little bit of an outro. Sat here and we'll see the trains come in. This is how I do uh, those end views, if you're wondering. I'm sure many of you know, but you go down here. If you go into video, tick both of those off. And then we can maybe go 35 on this and go back a little bit. There we go. Sat in the middle. We're going to press Alt and G to hide the UI. 
then for me, toggle play is spacebar, and there you go. You got a lovely, a lovely rail cam. I'm thinking of doing some of them, and even put like uh, the little text they have over the over the overlay. There's some like trains at crew is a popular one that I've seen live on YouTube. Which one's that one? Oh, that. That's the one that's currently going up to Pollock Shores East. Am I right? Maybe. I mean, it takes a little while for the trains to get up here, which is absolutely fine. That West Highland line, we can technically have it once we've got Queen Street in behind us. Is it Queen Street? We've got Queen's Park, Queen Street, King's Park. Do we have a King Street? That'd be interesting. Here's one of our local commuters coming up here. Chuffing his way up. up the, and there's the big boy. Or the big girl. Making her way up to uh, the approach as well. That's a lot of smoke. Look at that. Oh, that's how it would be though, right? You're making an absolute mess of my signals and wires. I guess the train we should go on is the one where we can see... Uh, our new work although we could go on any of them that go past there right yes i wouldn't mind going on one for the uh for the cab ride unless you want to sit here of course for something different there's a bit of a bit of stuff going on we'll be able to see if there's any snarl ups yeah guys what do you reckon instead of a cab ride do you want a, a bit of uh rail fanning just to mix it up a bit and then when we put the diesels on we'll jump on a diesel this Thursday coming and uh, we'll we'll take that ride past uh, past Hamden Park yeah I like the sound of that there we go our trains are heading off it's busy isn't it there's lots to see here uh, it's a different view the scenery is not too beautiful here though but it is busy because all of our trains merge here and uh, yeah on that note guys a bit strange without a cab ride but uh, Trains app works, doesn't it? So, <laughs> I'll make up for it on Thursday, I promise. And until then, take care.